A Des Moines mom has lost one family member to coronavirus and two others have been hospitalized. The local 5's Rachel Droz shares what the Guevara family has gone through and the message they want the public to hear. The past few months have been a roller coaster for Veronica Guevara and her family. I finally feel like I can catch my breath. In early April, Veronica's mom, Olga Guevara, started feeling sick. My mom kept telling me, my chest hurts, like I don't feel good, I have this horrible cough. After two trips to urgent care, Olga ultimately ended up in the hospital on April 18th. She had pneumonia and COVID-19. She didn't have energy levels to like answer the phone or text us or anything. After a week, Olga started to get better. We were really, really fortunate that she, you know, started improving so much that she was able to be discharged um, on, I believe, Sunday the 25th. And we were like, okay, we can breathe. But the day after Veronica's mom got out, her grandma and grandpa, Guadalupe Castillo and Jose Guevara, got admitted. When I called a nurse to check on them, um, she was like, oh, they're my favorite patients right now. Like they're bickering all the time and arguing about things. And she's like, I have no idea what they're saying, but you know, they're just like such a cute couple. And I was like, okay, so then they're okay. Guadalupe was released after just four days in the hospital, but Jose's breathing got worse. He just, uh, within a couple days, just started going downhill really fast. And so they sent him to Waterloo um, because they were worried that he would need a ventilator and they didn't have any ventilators in Marshalltown. A month after being transferred, Jose took his final breath. My dad and my uncle were able to be there with him um, as he passed away. Jose and Guadalupe were just visiting family in America. They're originally from Mexico. So she never expected to go back home alone. And so, um, she went back home. She's she's in Mexico now. As COVID-19 cases spike across the country, Veronica asks you to remember people like her family. You might think you're perfectly healthy and, you know, you don't have any uh, conditions, uh, but you just don't know how it's going to affect you. Rachel Droz, Local 5 News, We Are Iowa. Health experts are warning about the risk of prolonged grief disorder among people who lose loved ones, also known as complicated grief. It's characterized by preoccupying thoughts and memories of the deceased, as well as emotional pain that impacts everyday life. Now, it can last at least six months and is different from normal bereavement, which can still be very painful and overwhelming. People are more likely to develop it if they have a history of prior trauma or loss.